we have an unprecedented opportunity. I began the lecture by telling you that it's obvious to me that we're in the last days before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's much the world is going to experience after this, but all the signs point to His coming. But God is a God of mercy. Did you realize that? Uh, if He gave us our just dues, we would all be in debt and never able to get to ground level. We would all be in eternal judgment. But He's a God of mercy, a God of compassion, showing mercy to the third and fourth generation, the Bible says. I mean, He puts up with us again and again and again and again. The evolutionists themselves have ignored the wonderful scientific data supporting creation. The evolutionists say, well, uh, so that's one chance in 10 to the 4,478,296 power. What am I talking about? One chance in that number is that now you have 7.2 trillion cells in your body. In every one of those cells, you have 40,000 different proteins configured in a hundred different configurations. One of those 72.3 trillion cells in your body, you have proteins, you have 40,000 proteins that are in a hundred specific configurations. And if you mix that up, the cell begins to die. It all has to be functioning simultaneously. So what are the odds that that would happen by accident or by evolutionary means? One chance in 10 to the 4,478,296 power. And David Bassett could come and tell you uh, the, the exponents and the powers. That means you can't even imagine how big that number is or how small that chance is that that could happen by natural means. But the evolutionists just will not observe the obvious, and they'll say, well, what are the chances that this specific crowd could assemble on this specific day in history? What are those chances? Well, you have to multiply all the people uh, on the face of the globe, 7.8 billion, by the, the potential to drive to Glen Rose. So therefore, those numbers mean nothing that all of your cells have that specific configuration. Nonsense. Those numbers do mean a tremendous amount. You were designed in Christ. Yes, but they ignore all of that. But there's one issue they do not ignore. It's tangible. The footprints at Glen Rose, discovered originally by Charlie Moss and George Adams. George Adams discovered dinosaur footprints. Charlie Moss discovered dinosaur footprints. And human footprints with them. If that is true, it can't be true. Like Richard Dawkins came, saw it firsthand. He had published. Well, if man and dinosaur lived contemporaneously, that would blow evolution out of the waters. He had published that. He saw it firsthand. He's the world's leading evolutionary scholar. What did he say? Impossible. And just walked away. But they have made this evidence the juggler vein, and if it's true, they'll give an account to God for that truth, or hopefully be converted, some have. But wouldn't it be like our Lord, who is a God of compassion and mercies, to give the human race, and we have access to the press, wouldn't it be like our Lord to give the human race one more good, clear opportunity to see the truth, and the truth is at Glen Rose. And they, the evolutionists have made this the juggler vein of the issue. They've called this front page Dallas Morning News. They've called this the scientific battleground of the nation. Well, let's see if it is true. We have just signed a 30-year lease with the McFall family, our friends, so we have opportunity to continue these excavations year-round. So hang with me. 